Hello, my name is Renee Sheldahl and I'm the assistant principal in charge of activities at Healy Ridge High School. I'm here to give you your planning information for the graduation for 2022. So we'll begin here with the quote. We'll begin here with the quote from our uh, 2022 class um, who have chosen this as their motto. As I go through the announcements for graduation 2022, there's a few things that you should know. Um, and then I have some announcements as well um, and some kind of mandatory information. So here we go. The first part is, is that you'll see here on the right hand side, uh, just a snippet of the uh, commencement compliance form that you will need. The commencement compliance form, there are two, it is two sided, but I'll explain both sides as we go through. You should have already ordered your cap and gown. If you have not ordered your cap and gown, you need to make sure and do so from Balfour. Um, the uh, web address and the phone number are there. It is imperative that you get it as quickly as possible. I keep getting the question as to when the caps and gowns will be delivered. Please note that the cap and gown will not be delivered until we think they're going to be delivered on May 9th. Um, and then a second one will, a second wave will come in the week of uh, graduation. So that's what we have so far. Um, I don't have a more definitive date for you. May 9th is what they've said, but I'm not sure. Um, the bookstore will have um, all fees. You need to make sure that you have the all of your fees paid at the bookstore by May 23rd. You will be receiving the compliance form on May 18th, and you have that week to kind of get all of your, or your um, affairs in order. Um, if you had athletics from your freshman year, your sophomore year, junior and senior year, that equipment is due. If you do not turn it in, you will have a fee for that. Um, the next part is, is that your library, any library uh, fees need to be, or books need to be returned or fees paid in the bookstore. Um, you'll need to make sure that you're passing all of your current classes. Uh, check your attendance, know where you are, make sure that you're here on time every day. Um, and then lastly, that Edgenuity credits are to be completed by May 19th. You need to make sure to get those finished and turn those in. Make sure you talk to your counselor um, so that they can be uh, moved to your transcript. Um, as far as paying your fees or what have you and checking out through the bookstore, you'll need to make sure that the bookstore, um, it is open from 7.15 to 3.30, so that's when you would need to make sure to go in there. Um, she does have to sign off, so make sure that you're, you get there but before uh, May 23rd to get that taken care of. You can reach Diane Arzamendi at that address, uh, web address, and or phone number. If you just want to go online, you can absolutely go online and you can um, take care of using the uh, you can see the little dollar sign on the ribbon at the bottom. It takes you to myschoolbucks.com, which will be your account to be able to pay for any um, fees that you might have. Between now and graduation day, remember that it is a privilege to go through graduation ceremony, not a right. We want you to be there. We want you to have the opportunity to go and experience that. We want your family to have you um, experience that as well. Um, but you need to behave appropriately, school appropriate at all times. Graduates, you do have to be at the mandatory graduation practice on May 27th at 8 a.m. There will be a photographer, professional photographer there at the um, ceremony, not at practice, but at the ceremony, and we will live stream the ceremony as well. Make sure that you are dressed appropriately, that you are dressed in semi-formal attire, and that your shoes are appropriate for walking on the grass and up the stairs. Again, your behavior needs to be um, appropriate for school, and including the ceremony, you don't actually get your diploma until the end, okay? So make sure that you're appropriate. Mandatory graduation practice, it starts at 8 a.m. We will all meet in the gym. Do not make any appointments for that morning for your hair, your nails, a doctor, what have you. Breakfast with your family. Um, you need to make sure that you are at graduation practice. If you are not at graduation practice, you will not walk the line. Um, at graduation practice, we will distribute your tickets um, and your COVID waivers. Uh, please consider bringing your shoes that you might wear for graduation. This would be a good time for you to test out whether you can walk in those shoes um, uh, in the grass, okay? And graduation practice will take about three hours. So that's when you can plan for your uh, appointments. You can plan for going out to lunch with your friends and your 
um, maybe having lunch with your family, but that's going to be the time, okay? The photography, it uh, will be taken by Grad Images as the photographer. You will receive, when you get your compliance form, you'll also get a little quarter sheet piece of paper, a, a index card, um, kind of like a postcard. Um, and what you'll do is you'll need to make sure and write your email address. That will be a different email address than your school email address. The email address that you list will have, um, that's where we will send, or that's where Grad Images will send your um, digital prints. And so then you can print from there, or I'm not sure, you order your prints is I think what happens. Um, again, we will have a live stream. The live stream will go through the Healy Ridge High School official um, Facebook account, so it's GRHS official. And a recording will go up the next week on our Facebook account as well. Um, I told you there were two sides to the um, compliance form. The other side is about appropriate dress and behavior. Um, again, make sure that you have ordered your cap and gown through Balfour. Part of that is your um, diploma and diploma cover go through um, that order from through Balfour. So know that. And then please understand um, that uh, I, we want you to celebrate, but we you are one of the ways that you cannot um, celebrate is to not have your um, no there are no alterations to your cap um, so please do not do that you can see a kind of good example of a non-example here we don't want it um, decorated in the fashion that's you can see there on the right hand side of the screen make sure that your shoes are appropriate to walk on grass and stairs i can't i can't state that enough um, it's really uh, we don't want you to be embarrassed let's just say that um, there are no flip-flops and jeans on that particular day as well. Any violation of school rules can result in your removal from graduation um, ceremony. And actually what it says here is will result in removal from graduation ceremony. There are two things I want to point out here. Uh, first of all, you can see where it says main grandstand, non-ticket holders, and visitor grandstands at the bottom, ticket holders only. So um, I'm going to explain that in just a moment. Please look at the, um, on the left-hand side, that would be considered like 24th Street. On the right-hand side, in the top right-hand corner is the concession stand. So that's kind of the orientation. We'll be facing, the graduates will be facing 24th Street, okay? So guests in the main grandstand, it's open to the public. So anyone can sit there. You want to, the only thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to have a COVID waiver. In the visitor's grandstands, you'll have to have a ticket. On both sides, again, um, you'll have a COVID waiver, but the, the visitor's side would have a ticket. How the tickets come into play is if we were to have some kind of inclement weather, only certain people would be allowed, certain ticketed people would be allowed into the auditorium. Um, so if we don't have that problem, which we haven't knock on wood so far, um, we would you know, continue with, with things as normal. Um, each graduate will receive three tickets, three of, or two of one color and one of a different color, and that's that's what will determine who goes into the auditorium. Again, visitor waivers um, will be for both the uh, home side, so non-ticketed uh, people, and for the ticketed visitors as well. Please note that there are no balloons allowed, no posters allowed, and noisemakers are not allowed. If these items, um, if you bring these items in, we will ask you to take them to your car um, because it would obstruct the view of others. And then, of course, it doesn't would not allow for graduates to be honored in the way that we would all appreciate being honored and that our graduates would get to be celebrated. The guest check in procedure will be that there will be tables. Um, our COVID waivers will be, if you're on the main grandstands and the home bleachers, you'll just turn in your waiver there. Please note that the waiver is per family, one waiver per family. If there are families that are, um, so we have, um, again, the, the guests who have a ticket, we will give you three COVID waivers. Um, but again, you only need one per family. You'd have two extra. If you need to download more, you can go to our website to get more. Um, one thing of super importance is that the gates will close at 745. The reason we close the gates is we will make sure that we have a space for the um, graduates to walk in for the professional uh, processional. When the uh, processional comes in, um, they will continue on into their seats. Once they are seated, we will open the gates again. And so people can continue to enter. It's just that you would have missed the processional. 
please note that um, if you have any special accommodations that you're in need of, um, to please call Monica Bustillos at 928-502-6406. Noted here is the idea of the guest entrance flow. Um, so at the top of the screen, we show the home bleachers and then the visitor bleachers down at the bottom. Um, 24th Street will be the main access or access one. Um, it's on the left of your screen here. That's 24th Street, that's, that's the main entrance, but we will have with the player's gate open as well. Both of these will be closed again at 745 in order to uh, honor the graduates as they proceed in. You'll see here that the graduates will come in the player's gate. And then something else I want to note to you is that A through L um, alphabet, um, last names with alphabet A through L will be on the right hand side or the um, home bleacher side. And uh, graduates with last names M through Z will be on the um, visitor side. But ask your graduate where they end up when they are um, seated for graduation practice. That's the best way to do it. The same procedures that we have for entrance are the same ones for exit. So have the, we have the two different exits. And then just make sure that you have a designated area for where you wanna meet after graduation. Um, you'll see the exits are the same here. So just kind of the heading back the other way. Last thing to consider is that ticket holders will sit in the visitors, bleacher, visitors bleachers if you have a ticket. Um, and if you don't, you'll just go over to the home bleachers. The gates will close at 745. Water bottles will be sold in the concession area and families are encouraged to designate a meeting area after the ceremony. Important dates, you should have already ordered your cap and gown. The senior award banquet is for May 16th and please allow uh, or let Ms. Uh, Rebeck know if you have a scholarship um, that if you received a scholarship so she can make sure and note that and we can celebrate you. May 19th will be the Edgenuity credits are due and May 19th, oh, you'll need to make sure that you're passing all of your current classes. May 23rd, the compliance form is due. And then of course, graduation day, woohoo, May 27th. Just a few last words kind of things to remember. Um, I'm not sure on the date for the cap and gown, but I believe you're going to need your cap and gown or will be delivered on May 9th. You'll need your ID. You may not pick up a, a cap and gown for anyone other than yourself. Um, if you have any questions, you can get a hold of Monica. Monica's number is there at the bottom, 502-6406. Also, um, you must be at mandatory graduation practice. I think it's really important that um, we are uh, being able to, to celebrate you um, after two years of COVID and not being able to have a true ceremony with all of our family and friends available um, and there for our special night. So um, congratulations to you and remember that uh, once a hawk, always a hawk. We're so proud of you.